it's a big deal to have a Latina showrunner and a Latinos in the writer's room. And, and this is a huge deal Jenna, for, for Latinos to have a Latino ensemble on network television because we're the only ones. Hey, Jenna, how are you? I'm doing fine, and you? I'm doing very well. Yeah, thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you and to talk about Oscar, <laughs> which I, I love it. What you can what you can expect uh, of him, like from the next episodes that we have for, for this season? Well, I am so lucky. I got to pinch myself, Jenna, because I feel like the luckiest actor in Hollywood. Um, I get to have dramatic scenes. I get to do voices. I get to be super silly. I get to do physical comedy. At the same time, like I said, I get to do all this emotional work. And so the range that you get as this character is, I, I think, just kind of unprecedented in TV. Like, I love... If anyone is that you, you know um, watching that is uh, a, a viewer of your show remembers Rick Moranis, Martin Short obviously is one of is like I think one of the most gifted comic actors of all time, and then Don Knotts uh, from yeah uh, like Three's Company is Mr. Furley is like comedy gold and so I get to do all of that but then also have these heartbreaking emotional scenes did you watch the Raider episode yes <laughs> oh so I think about that like how silly I know. and emotional in the same scene do I I get to do all of that work it's it's really I feel very lucky to play this part yeah I think I, I think Lopez versus Lopez is a very like different style of sitcom and I, I I don't know what and and what do you think that why do you think that we have this series is so different from the other ones? Well, you know. Well, George, you, it's a kind of where TV is at right now is that you need a big star. So we got a big star, and then we have Bruce Helford who has worked with George before. So Bruce Helford did Roseanne, he does the Connors, he did Drew Carey show. He's like this, you know, multi-cam, like a god, you know, in and hero in, in Los Angeles. So you have those two people and you, that's what it takes to make a TV show. But what makes Lopez different is this real life relationship then between a father and daughter. So it's like, it's, it stands out, it's unique, but it's also a throwback to those old sitcoms, you know, Tim Allen, Home Improvement, Roseanne, um, even like Sanford and Son, All in the Family. Like, you know, it's one of those, it's like a classic TV show um, with a comedy icon. And it's just got a ton of heart that you typically don't see in shows nowadays. Yeah, and I, I think the, the writer's room is very different too from they the other better, ones. Didn't they? Yeah, yes. And and I think it, that's something that I'm so happy when I when I watch the first season, like the first episode, of the first season, and then you see the this the series evolving and get sign up for next for another season. And that's the difference. I don't know. <laughs> that's what me. happens. That's what happens. Debbie Wolf did a great job of, of you know, and, and the actors are doing a better job of evolving the show. And, you know, she's she's putting a very thoughtful approach. This is a big deal for her. It's a big deal to have a Latina showrunner and a Latinos in the writer's room. And, and this is a huge deal, Jenna, for, for Latinos to have a Latino ensemble on network television because we're the only ones. Yeah, right now you guys are the only ones. That can't yeah? be. That cannot be. That is unacceptable. So we really need to support shows like this. It's Tuesday at eight o'clock. Watch the show. I don't care if you record it. I don't care if you play it and walk away. But put that show on TV. And it's all. It's very important that we all do that. 
for other shows like it. We need to do it with this school. We need to do with Primos on Freebie. You know, we need to we'll do it with Acapulco on Apple TV because then now they're going to go away. Yeah. And the, we don't have enough on television. So anytime you see any Latino ensemble show, support that show. It's very important that we show up for our so for our, our people. Yeah, and the, because if not, it goes away, and then you complain. We don't have shows for us, and yeah, then exactly. you don't watch and it. Well, it's our fault. <laughs> and then you say it's our fault. And and after you start playing Oscar, did you have any like what was like the the response that you have um, from playing him? <laughs> oh, it's it's been fun. Like the people that come for the audience, and it's been crazy because people come in the audience and they go nuts. They, uh, you got to come out to uh, watch a taping and they go crazy. So if you go, I'm sure if you go to Lopez versus Lopez studio audience, you can come see a show and it's so fun. They give you candy and sandwiches and <laughs> you like have a, you, it's very entertaining, but you get to watch us make it. And, um, you could tell a lot of people are watching the show. So people love Oscar and people love Lopez versus Lopez. Yeah. And aside from this project from Lopez versus Lopez, are you working any new projects right now? I got a lot going on, Jan. I got, I wrote a comic book called Primos. Okay. Um, my company, All Things Comedy, is the number one comedy podcast network in the world. Um, we, um, I'm making TV shows, um, I'm going to be in a movie coming up and so a lot, a lot of work. Yeah. Now that's amazing. I love that you're working a lot and, and now we need to support, continue support the Latinos. I'm Brazilian and I'm, I love, I love, I love like the, those shows. And yes. now we have some, uh, a Brazilian movie that just came out on, on prime video called Musica. You should check oh, it yes, out. Yes, yes, yes. I saw it. Uh, I saw Rude. a clip for it. It looks really good. Yes. So we are really, really excited about that. <laughs> Who's that? Rudy Mancuso? Is that... Rudy Mancuso. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm awesome. also doing something else that I think is very important before you go. I'm doing a campaign called Stop the Dis about stopping disinformation this election year because now they're feeding us fake news left and right. So it's like uh, a lot of misinformation, but a lot of disinformation. I'm trying to manipulate Latino voters, so I'm very passionate about that. So I'm I'm helping identify all of those bad actors, and so that's okay. with Calo News and LA TV. But uh, we got to stop disinformation. They're trying to trick Latinos. No, they cannot trick us. Okay, so bye. Thank you, Anai. No problem. Sorry, that froze on my end for a second. <laughs> If you like to support or continue to support Jan on camera, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the videos.